Actually, I'd like to thank everyone on the Isle of Man for taking this as seriously as we do. What we've seen is around about a 10% drop in water usage. And that combined with some of the rain that we've had has managed to stabilise the reservoir levels. They're still less than we want at this time of year, but they're not dropping as fast as they were before the host pipe ban came in. So that, I think that's really good news that, that we're holding our own at the moment. Um, and hopefully if we get some better weather um, in terms of more consistent, normal weather for the Isle of Man with a bit more rain and we can top up the, the, the reservoir levels, we can reassess the situation. Now, it might seem odd to people because since you brought the ho- host by fan in, there have been quite a few rainy days. I mean, is it not the right amount of rain? Is it not being as effective as you might like? That's, that's quite right. I mean, it, it's always the case you bring in a hose pipe ban and the next day um, the, the, the heavens open. One of the problems we had wasn't necessarily with the, the supply that we had in the reservoirs. It was the long-term weather forecast, which was forecast to show a lot of very, very dry weather. Yes, we've had patchy rain. And that, as I said, that's managed to stabilise the reservoirs. They're not dropping as fast as they were, but they're still not topped up to the normal level. Later on um, this week, we're looking again at the long-range weather forecast. But we've seen on the news that there's sort of balmy weather all across the world with either very very hot weather in certain parts um, of countries floods in others and it's that cha- that ch- constant change that we need to look out for what we're looking at is, is to try to make sure that the reservoirs are topped up before we go into the winter season and, and as soon as we're, we're certain that we've got enough water there to, to look after people through the winter and into the spring we'll call off, call off the hose pipe ban but we need to plan long term not just for the you know the last couple of days. So at this stage, presumably, you don't actually have a time scale on the hose pipe ban? We don't, I'm afraid. And, and again, I apologise for this. We, the Yellow Man is, is dealing with extremely dry weather. Um, we know that with some of the gorse fires. And, and again, I'd like to reiterate some of the um, information coming from the Fire and Rescue Service particularly with Manx Grand Prix coming up, please be careful with outside barbecues and things like that because although we've had some rain, the ground is still very, very dry. We're still having gorse fires. We're still having problems on the island because of the dryness. And what we were hoping is that once weather comes back to a bit more of the Manx normal, we can call off the hosepipe ban, but we're not going to do that at the moment. We're going to be cautious. And again, I apologise for that. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for the um, efforts that they put in to try to conserve water stocks. Now, have you taken any, any, you say you're not sure how long this is going to last. It depends on the long-term weather forecast, what action you take next. But are you taking any steps to put a further contingency plans in place, apart from the host pipe ban? We, we have got a range of con- contingency plans in place, um, coming from bring, bringing a portable water treatment plants in to deal with some of the reservoirs we that historically we don't need anymore through to other ways of of bringing on water um through either using the aquifers and and drilling boreholes all of these will take time and planning all of these will necessarily you know uh, cost money so we're not bringing those in into plan at the moment we, we have a whole range of contingencies to make sure that there's still water coming out of taps as we go into the autumn and, and, and winter as, as i said at the moment the for instance the sobby dam today is 61 percent full west baldwin is 64 percent full really at this time of year we'd be expecting them to be 70 75 percent um so they whilst they are stabilizing they're still below normal and what we're looking for is that long-term weather weather forecast to guarantee that we don't run into problems if we have a very very dry spring for instance now there has been some confusion um over who the hose pipe ban applies to um there have been you know accusations that businesses are wasting water and and flouting the ban but that's not the case is it yeah it's a very good question the the legislation that makes to these um abides by the water act is really about domestic properties and water bans uh, uh host pipe bans for, for for them rather than commercial the commercial sector although i have to say the commercial sector has been extremely helpful i think a lot of people have got on board with the message we saw that with the um the nsc when when that needed drainage that a lot of companies took that water and used that instead of using main supply so i think everyone is working together we have had a few complaints we 
fact, we are looking into seven cases where um, domestic customers have been using hose pipes and we sending them warnings. And we will prosecute if, if they continue doing so, um, because it, we are taking the situation very seriously. And again, I think most people on the Isle of Man have been taking this seriously and really um, helping out to conserve the water supplies that we have.